Yeah, that's true, Hexgal. You gotta be, like, really careful when you roam on mid lane. I mean, you gotta be careful when you roam in general on League, because, like, you're always giving up something with your time, you know? Scion skin looks wild, dude. Surprised he didn't try to Q there. What will you do to survive? Tell me. I always try to move like really weird in this matchup. Just to make it harder for him to Q. Sometimes if you're moving really weird, they, like, don't even try to throw their Q out because they're just worried. They just don't want to miss it. Oh, dang, I dropped two mages. I'm gonna just look for a callback here. Their jungle should be topside. I don't want to mess with that. Alright, sweet. Good early wave so far. You prefer fighting AD Scion? Yeah, I haven't seen an AD Scion. I don't know if it's still a thing, but I think it's kind of dead. Don't take my word 100%. It might still be kind of a thing. I feel like the plating nerf probably really killed it, though. I feel like I have seen some tank Scions that go Holebreaker still, though. I feel like that might be a thing where they go like tanky with Hallbreaker. Oh dang, he got his W thing. This wave is really good. Just gonna thin it down a little bit. Try not to get smacked by his Q. If W was a toggle at level 1, nerfed until level 9. I've heard that suggested for Urgot. That actually would be pretty nice. Like, if you just got the permanent toggle at level 1, it would help a lot versus tanks. Even if it was weaker. There's a chance I could kill this guy at level 6. Wow, that hits me? No way, dude. I want to see a replay on that. Scion Q definitely goes a little bit more than it actually shows. 100%. I want to get my fleet proc on him. I don't have too much mana pool though. Oh yeah. That was sick. There's nothing he can do against that, too, because he's running Ghost. He's definitely going to port back on that. I 
I wonder if he's gonna go. Uh, he probably is gonna do heart steel. I might do a uh, cleaver into Bork. Actually, let's go cloth. I'm taking way too long to do my buy right now. I might just port back anyway. I want to see if he pushes though. If he doesn't push, I'm gonna save port. Seems like he's chilling. So not porting on this. I missed one minion, maybe two. So far, I've missed one melee. Curious to see how much I actually miss here. Two melees, probably. Definitely worth saving port for, though. If it's only two. The thing that's kind of nice about Bork this game, too, is the uh, Swain is going to get a ton of HP from his passive. So it'll be pretty good versus him, too. I just love the Bork games for Scion, man. It's so fun. I get so much damage on that item every time. Oh, I should have auto debuted. Do a little limit test here. Not too bad. He's got over 2,000 HP already at 8 minutes. Not much armor, so I do good damage, but it just doesn't look like it because his HP pool is so, so massive. But we are kind of chunking him. Oh my god, his ulti's down. Dude, how is his ulti still down? Is Scion ulti that long of a cooldown, level 1? I thought he would just ulti away. Because the thing is, in this matchup, if he ultis, he's unstoppable, so you can't pull him with your grinder. That's why I was, like, holding on to my ulti for so long. But I guess his was still on cooldown. Nice, we got his ghost too. That's huge. An enemy has been slain. That's actually so nice. Should we try for one? It's a pretty big wave, and I can just TP back, I guess. Oh, he's going to Q charge. Such a meat shield, dude. Oh my god, we got him with that shotgun. I'm surprised that proc. I was like trying to move for it, but... I'm so slow in W. Whoa, this guy's low. Can we dive? Ferris has ulti. I think we can dive here. I'll just save my E to get out. Nice. His name is Smurf for trolling. Interesting username. An enemy has been slain. Should be a tabby with all the components for Cleaver, right? Yeah, nice. So now we definitely get Cleaver on next back. I'll just TP just for tempo here right now. I think right now if we... Well, actually... I need my grinder to 1v2. With grinder, I can 1v2 the Nocturne Scion now. Whoops. Rampage. Shut down. 
I love how people think they can ward against Urgot. Is he backing? Oh, he's just hiding under tower. I'm kind of down for the 1v2. Oh, dang, he's going mid. He doesn't even want to gank me. We could also look for, like, a snipe here, maybe. Got it. Oh, man. Enemy team is getting crushed right now. They're just seeing their teammates get tossed into the grinder, too. So brutal. Oh, that's on mid lane for sure. I got no port for that either. Hello, Jeplin. Good to see you, man. Go for blades. I'm on it, dude. Can probably get at least one more. Actually, probably two more. I think his port's down. Hey, maybe we just get his tower, honestly. Unless Swain comes up here. Oh, I could have actually stayed on the tower. I thought that wave was going to crash in. Or I thought the tower was going to go on me before that wave crashed in. We get our coal cashed in next wave. Oh, let's stay away from his heart steel proc. I don't want to give him one of those. Yeah, we've had really good games, Jeplin. Team looks pretty good this game, too. Team looks really good. Plus, our lane is going good. It's actually good to push in this wave, make him lose a little bit. If he's going to commit to the realm this much. Goliath online. I do want to spend my gold, though. I don't want to make a play right now. I think Kha'Zix wants me to, but... This is so much gold for, like, 14, 15 minutes. I guess going bot is probably the play here, huh? Can look for an E flash on Zaya, maybe. Where will they run when the whole city burns? Oh, yeah, I forgot about Bork. I guess I'll get a third item. I actually forgot him autopiloting the build. Honestly, Bork is probably better as, like, a third or fourth item this game, because they are kind of behind right now. Like, he doesn't have many heart steel stacks. Probably would be better to buy it later. Oh my god, he's spamming. Test out my cleaver. This has to be on me, right? Is it not? Oh, dang, I should have committed. I thought that was on me for sure. I might just flank the fight here. Oh, 
Oh my god. I actually wasn't aiming for that. The accidental snipe. I was aiming for uh, Zaya. Okay, that was nice. Oh, I got the buffer. Kill him. Oh, no. Get this thing off me, dude. It's like a silverback gorilla just going ham. Did Ziggs just burp? What the heck? That was rude. Oh, dang. I wanted the empowered recall. Alright, we'll do Bork third here. There is no I think I might TP flank Zaya. I'm not really going to be using TP for anything else. <laughs> Poor Zaya. Sorry, bro. My shotgun does so much to sign right now. This was honestly just like a really good land and a really good team. Yeah, there we go. GG. This game might put me in diamond too. Victory. Actually, maybe not yet. That was nice though. Sion does feel a little bit easier to lane against these days. He used to feel like such a hard lane for me. Man, everybody played so good. I'll just give it to Bran. Oh, we're 60 LP. LP gains are going down a little bit. We're getting 21 now. I think because we're kind of winning too much, which sounds kind of weird, but sometimes when you win streak, it like the game doesn't know if you're getting lucky or if you actually deserve it. So your LP gains can get a little bit worse. Nice lane, though. Good game. Belveth may be starting chickens. Maybe that's what she's trying to say. Oh, dang, my E missed. That's right. We're running fleet, so. Don't mind too much. It's really hard to get, like, an early kill with fleet compared to PTA. So I kind of take the early game a little bit safer. Dang, those spikes have some range. I shouldn't be letting him get the push early. Chugot does have a good early game, though. He's got a good lane phase. In general. I think Urgot does so good against a mid and late game, though. Whoa, mid got solo killed by a Lux this early? It's a little bit of a yikes. Hey, Red Lucy. Oh, yeah, we can definitely push. This wave crashes a little bit early, but I guess we could take the back here. I should have stacked up that wave and done, like, a huge crash, though. All good. Always nice to grab that early call versus these tank lands. Honestly, versus, like, every lane, but especially tanks. So, Belveth is on bot right now, and I don't think she's done her camps. 
24 CS. So she has like Grump up probably. So we're really safe for the next few minutes. And my wave is good. I know it's weird seeing a small Cho'Gath. It feels kind of wrong. The Gentleman Chega skin is so good, man. That's one of my favorites. Oh my god. Okay, he's maybe not that small because I've misclicked on him. Still bigger than the cannon, I guess. That's actually a hockey that I don't have on as the uh, like target minion only for when somebody stands over a minion. I have target champion only. Ah, oh, dang, that was kind of unlucky. Those HPs were a little bit off. Nice bot lane with a kill. Sadly went to Rakan, but at least they're winning lane with Rakan Jinx. I've been seeing a lot of Kaisa's leaves lane recently. Kind of random, but I've been seeing that ADC leaves like every lane. There's a good chance jungle could be topside now. That's kind of what I would expect if I was to guess. Yeah, she's invading us right now. I'm going to try to push here so we can maybe rotate. Oh, his Q does nothing. He must be maxing E, e for sure. Hey, get a CX build. Check out skills well. Yeah, he skills pretty good. His ulti is always scary. His E actually skills really hard too. If I get one more wave, I'm actually going to stay. I want to get double longsword and boots. You can't really do anything versus my push. I just don't want him to like tank out this wave here. Nice, that's such a better back for me. Our mid is so tilted, dude. She's 0-3 already. Do I need a port? I probably should. I don't want to miss anything versus Jogath. Every XP counts right now for my level 9. Because that's when we can go kind of ham. Dang, I feel like it's been a while since we had a mid laner tilt this hard early. Usually it's the ADC. I feel like I've actually been pretty lucky with mids. I think mid is actually like kind of chill right now in the meta. Because I think so many people just play control mages and just sit back and farm. Like Lux probably just can like one shot the mage minions with E right now. Check out passive heal increase by level. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, it does for sure. He gets health and mana. And it goes up per level. It starts off like really good too. Like level one, it actually heals him quite a bit, each minion. 
See if he lets me tank this out a bit. They could try to invade my Maokai up blue here. Be pretty unfortunate since we're level 8. Oh, that's what they're doing. Makes sense with the Belveth. Oh, this guy's going Iceborne Shogath, by the way. I feel like I haven't seen that, actually. Got a Sheen already. I wish this guy would play up a little bit more. Oh, here we go. I'm going to wait for my Q here. Oh, man. I wish he didn't knock him away from my E, but it's not really his fault, I guess. Landing that E would have been really nice, though. Hmm. Leona being there for the counter gank is just really good, honestly. Oh, the rocket, though? Doesn't kill. I'll go Swifties here, I guess. They have a lot of things I need to dodge. Maybe just go for Drake in this case. I don't know. They're literally just going to take my top tower here. You don't like Maokai jungle? Yeah, it has a bit of anti-synergy with Urgot. I do like the pick, but... You gotta be, like, really careful. Like, the Maokai has to be careful, too. Wow, nice. Good room there. Alright, this is good. We can start coming online now. Whoa, what's this Lux doing? Kind of a lot of time for me to roam, though. Okay, wow. From 0, 3 to 4 and 3. Talia's completely in the game now. More than in the game, I would say. It's a really good comp we have for Talia because we have so much lockdown. Maokai, Rakan, Urgot, like so much easy lockdown for her. She can land her rock thing pretty easily. Dang, the Iceborne tech is actually kind of good. Why don't more Chogas do that, I wonder? I think he might have teleport, so I gotta just kind of keep him from DPing. Oh, dude. That's so close, man. I would not go for that play if I didn't have Flash. Oh, because Heartsteel is so good on Shogath. That's actually true. Yeah, giving up Heartsteel is actually kind of big. Go for plates. He does have tel uh, TP though. I'm pretty sure. Maybe he doesn't. Or he's just scared to use it with my team top side. Well, that fleet heal is so nice on the tower too. Um, his ulti, I think it scales harder with AP, but it does scale off bonus HP and his E, too. 
So yeah, that's why Heart Steel is so good. Like you have two abilities on Cho'Gath that scale off HP. And then also you get like a big nuke of damage, which helps them get lower for your ulti to execute. I don't know. Iceborne does seem good for Zergoth though. I think this item is actually really good. Oh, dude, I want to run on mid here. She's probably going to run upwards here. Kind of bound to hit one of them there. Dude, our team just randomly came online. Like, what's going on? This is crazy. Just insane tempo swing, I guess. It's just weird because, like, our mid was so tilted. I really didn't expect this at all. Now we're just mowing them down. I'm down. I got no grinder, though. He's going to... Oh, he's actually chunked. Wow, it's so easy to land that Talia thing on Chugga too, because his hitbox. Talia's an insane pick here. Glad she was able to turn her game around. I'll take that. Thank you, team. Oh, dude, Mattia, thank you for the nine months of Prime, dude. Appreciate that. It's been so much going on this game, I didn't even notice. Oh, she stopped because her E. Kind of weird that she would use E there, to be honest, instead of just running. The flash e-bug happen with ally Talia wall? Yeah, it does. Any player made train will like bug out my E if I'm close by to it. It'll just cancel my E. Honestly, we're getting so snowballed. I think I'm gonna go Yumi second here. Lethality's looking pretty good. I mean, it's not really good versus Cho'Gath, but I'm not really playing for that guy. And honestly, we kind of shred him with Cleaver anyway. Hey, welcome in, Mesh. Hope you're doing good, man. I was going to do a little flank, but I guess they want to go for Drag. Our CC chain is actually so nasty, dude. Ooh, am I dead? Alright, not too happy I got to burn flash, but whatever. I should not be going deep there like that. I was thinking about E flashing Chugath, that's why I was chasing, but then his whole team showed up. So that was my thought process. I say we just grab Yumi's here. I can TP if something happens. Oh, dude, thanks for the 18 months, by the way, Hive. Good to see you, man. So fast with this build, dude. I will say, though, if I get hit by, like, a Luxbine or a Cho'Gath too, I, I probably die. But at the same time, with this much speed, I shouldn't get hit by that, hopefully.
Hope the games are going well. This one's going really good. I'm gonna try to kill Kaiser real quick. Kinda wish I had my Yumi's active. Getting her flash is good. I can hopefully just Yumi's out of here. Ooh, this is not good. I shouldn't have backed up like that. I thought she was gonna throw her W though. I was gonna sidestep it. All right, well, we got Kaisa Flash and actually Ghost, so that's not too bad. Next team fight, should, she should be pretty easy to kill. Not too bummed about that. The Yumi's Holebreaker build? I've tried it a few times, yeah. Um, It's really strong in side lane, I feel like. Like, 1v1 side lane, it's really strong. But I don't really like it for team fighting. I mean, it's kind of my problem with Yumi's in general. You just feel so squishy in team fight. I think the best thing about Yumi's though, like if you rush it first item with that Yumi Holebreaker build, oh, that red buff just uh, timed out. Unlucky. But my favorite thing with Yumi's, if you rush it first, si first item, is the uh, Serrated Dirk Spike. If you have Serrated Dirk plus Ignite into like any squishy champion, and you land E, it's just guaranteed kill. Kind of TPing right in their face, so we'll see how this goes. We don't need our grindy. I got the shotguns. Baron should be pretty free, right? Hey, Sergeant. Yeah, first game to death. Got a nice team comp. Nice lane phase. I think we'll split bot here, but like probably rotate mid. Yeah, this Rakan's insane, dude. 3 0 14. This guy's everywhere. Well, that Chogath is getting big, though. Not in terms of damage, just in terms of size. I think his damage is still kind of underwhelming. Besides his ulti, of course. He's got eight stacks, though. Why is there a jungle topside? I mean, I guess they can't fight for Drake anyway. Whoa, kill this guy. Had to flash the Lux combo there, I think. Top lane push is actually pretty smart, on second thought. The Belveth is definitely trying to get what she can. I think I can actually chase with Yumi Swifty here. Once I get that out of combat speed. Plus we got a Cloud Drag, but it gets cancelled here. I'll just push, I guess. 
How is Belveth that fast? This is giving me an extra 40, plus we have Cloud Drag. Kind of surprising she gets away there. Yeah, she got she's got Stride Breaker, but that shouldn't give too much right now. It's only giving like an extra two percent movement speed, right? No, I need to proc the fleet on Leona. We can actually fight this. Oh, never mind. I think we could have fought that, but had to play it a little bit differently. Man, my fleet proc you on the minion there was sad. I get a way bigger heal if it procs on Leona. Every fleet heal makes like a pretty big difference right now because it's like... Well, since it's only 100 heal, I feel like it's a little bit more though. Hmm, what's the build here? Maybe stone plate? They have a lot of true damage though. I don't love stone plate when they have a lot of true damage. I think I might just get a stopwatch here for next fight. There's a lot of things I can stopwatch. Like, especially against a Lux combo, it's so good. Oh yeah, stacking MR versus like a heavy AP team is just GG. Plane versus Holy Peach is so nice. Oh, sorry, Jinx. I guess she already, she already has a red buff, though. This should be a free Baron for us if we play our cards right. Yeah, with Lethality builds, it is harder to get a good ulti. Because you just die quicker. Look at those shotguns, though, dude. That's the crazy thing with Yumi's, is you can proc, like, every shotgun so fast. Probably just dead here. I wish that bought enough time for an E. I say Baron, dude. I say Baron. Baron should be free. I got the chug out there. I wish I didn't waste my stopwatch, but I'm trying to buy time for E. But yeah, this thing gives me an extra 25% movement speed with the active. That's actually a crazy amount, dude. Especially when you got Swifties, too. Like, in my W, I'm pretty sure I had, like, I don't know. It'd be nice to see the replay. I probably had like 300 movement speed in my W there. So I can just circle around him so quick. I don't love leaving the base with a thousand gold, but... That's just how it works sometimes. Hey, good to see you, Solo. Um, I would rather go... I mean, I would rather go a different item over Wit's End, usually. Unless you're literally versus, like, 4 or 5 AP. You can go Wit's End, like, last item.
Dude, he can't land his Q on me. I'm too fast. Dude, this build is so good against their comp. I can run circles around that Jogath. I was making him dizzy. Oh, they got an in-hip respawn. Nice. That was a good game, dude. 5.3k healing on the fleet there, too. 3.7k on the cleaver. What made you go with Ali that match? Uh, mainly just snowballing early on. And then I also figured the Yumi's active with like Swifties would be really good for dodging their abilities. So like Cho'Gath Q, Lux Bind. Those are the two things I'm looking to dodge. You know what, dude? I'm going to give it to Talia. Even though she was tilting early. Maybe the, maybe this honor will motivate her to like just play a little bit safer when she gets behind early on. Dang, 32k damage. Very nice. Over half of my healing was from fleet that game. We had 10k heals. It's good stuff. In this matchup, I like to always grab bush control. Oh, hello. Okay, I'm actually going to recall. He got there really fast. He was ready for it. Well played, Tim. Oh, he might face check here, though. So he did chunk me out a little bit, but... I think we'll be fine here. You want to walk in on the first two Qs and then kind of walk out on that third Q. The reason it's really nice to do this is because I can try to go for a level two kill now, maybe. Oh, we definitely don't want to let him do that. He could TP back. It's an okay start. We'll see. We'll see if we get the level 2 kill. He does have D-Shield. So he's going to be healing. Holding E on Urgot. Yeah, it's really important. Especially in hard matchups. It just takes a lot of discipline. Oh, nice. We got his bone plating off. I should try to beat him to level 2, or at least tie it. We do have Biscuits as well, and he, he has no Ignite. Ooh, nice. That's good. After this minion, we go in. Oh, this is really good. Fiddle should be able to get him here, I'm thinking, hopefully. Ooh, dang. He has 15 movement speed over me. I thought if I flashed that W, we had him there, but Ergot's too slow. Got to go on a diet, man. He's been grinding up too many champs. I need to push quick because he's going to port back here most likely. We should be good, though. Yeah, this wave pushes in. Nice. It's really good. Got a flash trade. That's a pretty good start. I don't mind that. Um, keep in mind, we are running Cosmic Insight, so my flash comes back a little bit sooner. It shaves off like almost a minute on my flash. It's like a 40, 40 or 50 second shave. So by the time I have my flash, we have like a 40 second window where we can maybe try to force something. Oh, that seems like a tough matchup for Aerie, man. Ooh, good sidestep on the Q. I think that saves her. Nice. Well played. Hey, it's going pretty good. Lance, how are you, man? Just warming up versus Atrox. All he got is refill ball on that back. The thing that kind of sucks, like... We got the better back, but it's hard for me to pressure. Because he has the ra he actually has the range advantage in this land. I know that sounds weird, because he's the melee champ. 
But if he plays off his keys, which I assume he's going to do, he kind of has the range advantage. You miss stacking Dorn's items. Yeah, I got to say, it is nice how they uh, buffed up D-Blade, though. Like, just having D-Blade feels nice now. Felt like a really good change for Urgot. Like, Urgot was already strong level 1, and now you're just a little bit stronger, even. Wow, he actually backed for a longsword. He really didn't want me to have item advantage. That could be topside right now. I didn't see him on the bot side played there. Oh man, my wave is looking bad too. I thought he was going to maybe E in on that second Q there. Using E with the wave right here is pretty sketchy, so let's kind of back up here. Okay, nice. Zack is bot. We can chill here. The wave's kind of tiny, so I don't want to go for a back here. Plus, I think he might kind of play up into an E. Oh, he's really careful. This play that I just went for, it, it doesn't really work in Diamond. I think it works like Platinum Below, but... People start just assuming that you're in the bush. Ooh, close. I'm gonna pop HP just in case. We have a kill window coming up pretty soon here. Noticing he doesn't really like to E in on, e in on his second Q. Oh, dang, they stole the Ocean Drake, though. That would have been so nice. Fruits are going to spawn within, like, 10 seconds here. Could go for that. Going to see what he does here. I definitely don't want to let him back, though. Nice, dude. That's the Trox matchup right there. Like, that right there is exactly pretty much how the matchup goes. Like, I don't think we played it perfect, but, like, that's pretty good. You trade flashes with him. Your flash comes up sooner, sooner because of Cosmic Insight. And then you just try to look for that kill window on a... Right when it comes up on your level 6. It's nice if you can land that Q just to get that slow down before you E-flash. Oh man, did I greed? I dodged this W, I think we're okay. If I get hit by that W, we maybe die. Wave should be good. I wish it was a cannon wave though. He probably does push this in. Um, we got our solo kill, so I'm thinking just Tabby's here with, like, probably just full defensive right now. Because the scaling's on my side. And I'm going to be pretty chill until my flash is back. So with uh, Tabby's Ruby, we should be pretty safe even if we get ganked right now. Picked up K-Santi because of the new video. Nice, man. Yeah, I hope you guys... Uh, Hope you guys enjoy the k Santi games every once in a while. Honestly, even if he gets nerfed, which I'm assuming he will, um, I'm still going to keep him my keep him in my champ pool. There are just so many cool plays you can do on that champ. I still love Urgot, don't worry, but... Urgot's not going anywhere, but... It would be nice to have more Mordekaiser and k Santi games. Like, especially when I get really counterpicked on Urgot. He might be... Yeah, I knew it. I could tell by the way he was fighting there. And I just have to run out, too. I'm probably dead. Yeah, there's not much I can do about that. The thing I could have done... I, I should be safe with this build if I E away, but I eat into him. 
But that's the first time he's kind of like ran into my E range, so that, that was a good bait by him. I mean, kind of bad by me to fall for it too, though. Probably on the Shelly, I would imagine. Wow, he's not. Okay. Must just be doing a topside clear then. Or he's going to try to gank me again as I run back here. Yeah, they could be trying to gank me again. Let's kind of hug the wall here. The way he's trying to, like, proxy this wave felt kind of weird. Um, K Santi versus Mord. In my experience, Mordekaiser outscales him. But the lane is kind of hard for Mord. I feel like once Mord gets, like, two item, it feels really good, though. Atrox is definitely going to back here. Let's push. Did I miss that? Yeah, I did miss that plate. Oh, he's teleporting too. I could get ganked again though, like really early here. Kind of scared to even ward right now. Okay, there he is. It's hard to play against Zack as they got. This guy can just like fly over a cliff or fly out of a bush. Man, the E away. This guy is really scared. I can win this. Nah, he's really scared. That's fine, though. We got his flash. The wave should push in. Actually, I don't know. It's going to be right outside his tower, I guess. He doesn't get a freeze, though, at least. If my flash was up a little bit sooner, I think we could have killed him there. But he's also playing it more defensive than other Atrox players, for sure. Like, he's, he's really playing around my E, man. This guy's trying his hardest to not get hit by my E. It's kind of good, though. I don't mind that. We're scaling up pretty good. I'm trying to save the plate here. I don't know if I can, though. Ooh, barely. I think one more auto. I wonder if he's going for a fruit. He could also do a mid gank here. Well, she's already getting three man to rip. All right, well, this is a terrible time to play up, so I think we just do golems here. Let's get a ward on Shelly and then probably do golems. Their support's also roaming, so I just, I don't want to be up in this lane at all. They got everybody on Shelly. I wonder if we're going to win this game with the Fiddlesticks, man. My win rate with Fiddles is insane. I feel like I never lose with this champ on my team for some reason. Let's see if we can continue the good win rate. Nice, we're good. I was expecting that. That's why I'm just holding the E. Definitely could use a counter gank here. 2v2 should be winning for us. Oh man, I think he should try for a play here. But I guess he wants to play for drag. I think the Zac is also going to want to play for drag though. It should be a 1v1 up here. Can't tell if he's trying to bait. Hey, what's going on, houseplant? Fear, 
Nice, team got the drag. Ooh, Mountain Soul. In that case, I think we'll go Jack Show this game. Because we have potential to get three Mountain Drags. I don't mind him back, and I can just push in the wave. I think if we Silver Fillable, I'll, I'll have enough for Cleaver. Ooh, okay, this is this is sketchy. They have Alstar too. Oh my gosh, dude, we're living another Zack gank. That's huge. Living two Zack ganks is insane on Urgot, guys. Those are so easy to die to. Wait, what? Oh my god, what are they doing? Dang, dude, I tried to flash his Q. I was a little too slow. Dude, my E accidentally went off, though. Other than that, it was really good, but my E... I didn't mean to press E there. Somehow it went off. I guess I misclicked it. Honestly, though, I'll take this, man. We're killing their bot lane. Zach is putting so much time into top lane. And I'm tied in CS, and we're up a kill. But I guess he's up tower plates. But some of that is shared, so not too bad. This is a good weak side game, though. This is really nice. And honestly, Atrox is a lane where even if you do get a lead to Zergot, you can't really, like, press your lead that much. So it, it's kind of good my team's not playing for me. Is there such a thing as Tank Urgot? Uh, you can go Tank Urgot, yeah. I mean, it depends. I want to go, like, full tank, but... You can definitely go, like, Cleaver into, like, tanky items. As long as you have a cleaver on Urgot, you'll still be semi-strong, no matter what. But I don't know. I feel like going going damage plus HP is like so much better. Like getting a Sterix is really nice right now too, because your shotgun skills really hard with like bonus AD. Same with your Q as well. Q seventy percent bonus AD scaling. And then this is like, what, 76%? So it is really nice to have some AD on Urgot. Yeah, he's hiding in the bush. They're probably going to gank me if I play up here. Not seeing the Zac. Oh yeah, Heartsteel is really fun on Aram. Heartsteel is honestly fun on Summoner's Rift, but... It's really slow. And if people build items like Bork or like Leandre's, you get really countered. Heartsteel's really fun though, man. I like that mythic. I think it's the most fun, like, just fun around item, you know? We could try to collapse on this guy, maybe. Can burst him pretty good with Ignite if this guy can actually stun him. Shut down. Kinda just here for like a counter gank. Plus we wanna fight Drag. This is good. Maybe. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tossed around here. Got a pretty nasty fear, though. I think we kind of did our job here. Nice, dude. Yeah, Baron's a good call. Wait, that's not even Baron. I feel like we should do both. We can kind of split this. Actually, I don't know. 
kind of risky to solo it because Zack is still alive. I guess he got out and just ran up that way. I might as well stick around for Drake, though. I like how my grinder's almost back up already. Got flash for this fight too. Should be good. Our vein has a warden's mill, dude. It's actually really good versus their comp. I mean, honestly, vein can go kind of tanky, I guess. She really just needs to get her W procs. Gonna ulti while he's uh, feared there. Oh, that's a wrap, dude. That's a juicy fear. That's why we play her guy right there. That was sick. Yeah, that's a surrender. GG. Nice. Good game, dude. That was actually really good. That's some good weak siding for once. I'm pretty bad at playing weak side, so it feels good to actually, like... I feel like I'm improving at that a little bit. I do feel like Zach kind of misplayed the ganks a little bit. Like, I think he missed Q on one of them. Or if he landed Q, I probably would have died. But still, I was trying to be, like, extra safe with my E and, like, thinking about where he was, you know? Avery had a nice first blood. That looked pretty good. The win rate with Fiddlesticks continues. Nice. We had good damage, too. I'm going to try to go for a Cheetah Recall versus set, but it's pretty hard. If he trades with me and, like, he fights back on the wave, I can't really do it. But we'll see if he lets me do it. He's already pushing heavy, so I probably can't. This is one of the matchups where it's actually really... It's it's impossible to get an early callback if they play it right. Nice, that's good. He is running teleport. Wow, nice. Okay. That's his flash. He's gonna, like, snipe me with W, though. That was a lot more aggressive than the last set I played versus... Wow, yeah, he is way too aggressive. Holy moly, dude. I wonder if my uh, jungle shared XP there on the kill. Does he get... I think he does get XP even if he doesn't take him, right? So I don't know if we got solo XP for that kill. Either way, really good, though. We can get a call here. I'll probably get Tabby's, but I want to get... Or I want to get Cleaver as, like, my first item. But I'll probably get Tabby while I build into that. Tabby's are kind of insane here against this champ. If you guys struggle versus set, Tabby's Bone Plating, I think, are really good techs against him. And then once you get 9 with Cleaver, you kind of... You should roll him over. And also, you want to try to E him, like, right as he Ws you. Or, like, right before, so you can fling him over. Or we move really weird like that just to juke him. Like, you can either E him or you can juke him pretty easily. Oh, 
Oh, I should have E'd there, actually. I was afraid to E because that wave was on me. And I had no minions. Wow, we kill him before he can even W. That's clutch. Alright, nice. Down he goes. Honestly, we're just trading so good. I got the E buffer on his E right there. Which is another nice thing you can do in this matchup. Holy fail proof. Thanks for the 39, man. Appreciate it, dude. Nice, that wave pushes. Bot lane's doing good. Mid's chilling. Oh, I wish I had enough for Tabby here. Uh, we'll do triple longsword. I can kill this guy again. Oh, I just realized their gangplank is a... Tobias Fate, by the way. The Gangplank one trick. I think that guy has like 900k subs on YouTube. Like, he has a crazy big YouTube channel. Oh my god, I knew that was gonna happen, dude. Jeez, chill, my man. Tobias Fate is the least stable lull streamer? What does that mean? Like he rages or something? I haven't really watched him. I've never seen his stream, actually, I don't think. I've seen his YouTube videos before. Oh my god, he healed up with his passive, so I couldn't pull there. But yeah, see, that's what you want to do. You E is W like that. The E timings are so important in this match. Like, you either E buff or his E, or you E as W like that. That's how you win a Zergot. That's the key verse set right there. I could get ganked, but I'll risk it. It's a Morgue jungle. I feel like if you feed Morgue, Morgue jungle a kill right now, it's not too big of a deal. This is the most crazy guy I've ever played against. Oh my god, he's like losing a few minions right now for this too. Oh my god, he's gonna do it. Dude, what did I do to this guy? I mean, I guess we killed him three times. Guess I kind of just answered my own question there. This guy was aggressive before I even killed him though. Oh my god, the Senna ulti. Alright, that's a huge shutdown for him. That Senna ult is so good, man. Hey, I'm gonna say worth. We just reset his gold. And he dies to Kane anyway. Kane probably has his form on next back. Is he going to go... Yeah, he probably is going to go blue cane, it looks like. I have seen a few red canes do this lethality build, though. Blue cane does seem really good this game, though. Because we need somebody to deal with Ezreal. Team comp kind of sucks for Ez, actually. Dang, they got four range champs. And, like, pretty long range.
Thankfully, I had a minion wave there to block the morgue queue. Can't really help him here. He should be okay, though. Morgue jungle's not a good duelist. Okay, well, he kind of just died. I guess if he gets binded, he just dies right now. Arcane got mobility boots? That seems insane, dude. Oh my god, I had to kite for life. That was a close one. A little bit spooky. Okay, everyone's bought it, looks like. Unless Gangplank comes up here. Oh man, you know what? We're gonna sell our D-Blade here. Dude, this guy is so crazy. He came through the try. He must have TP'd. Literally psychopathic set. This is fun to lane against though. I like playing for somebody so aggressive for once. This is on my main account too. People are usually like so passive against Urgot. Like this is actually respectful to, or respectable to see somebody so aggressive. We can maybe look for a grinder here. He knows I'm rotating now. Oh, he's not low enough? I guess he healed. <laughs> Your strength has saved you. Indeed. Nice one, Ergot. Got his flash, though. He had those corruption pots going. Wow, he's not going for the face check. Does he actually want to back here? I'm going to let him back and go for the plate, if that's what he wants to do. Sometimes letting people recall like that's good. Dude, I am just lost for words right now. I have never played for somebody like this. He is actually crazy. I wonder if he plays like this every game or... Like, maybe we just tilted him early this game? I don't know. <laughs> this is actually insane, dude. It's fun, though. I wish more people were... I mean, maybe not this crazy, but... I was asking for some more aggressive players. I'll definitely go for Sterak second against his build. 
Because he does have a lot of burst. Ooh, minions though? Wow, the minions turned off him so quick. Thankfully, he died to the Leandri burn there. You might not expect the blast cone here. He has no tower, so I can kind of just run him down. Oh yeah, we can one combo now. Oh, too slow. I knew it too. I timed my E stun there with the... Like my Arbor so he couldn't use his shield. Yeah, we can start going pretty crazy now though. Urgot naturally skills into set like really well. Hello, Mr. Mesh. Ooh, I might look for a TP bot here. They're going pretty deep. Okay, I can't 3v1 though, plus no grinder. Yeah, I got the same timing there again. Perfect timing. He's so squishy with that build that I can just time it like that pretty much every time. Hopefully. Don't know if I want to... Actually, I guess we will go for this. I'm scared to die right now because I'm such a big shutdown. Yeah, true. Hopefully we're good. Alrighty. Might start grouping now, to be honest. I'm pretty strong. I could go Stride or Yumi's this game. I feel a little bit more comfortable with Stride. I think Yumi's is maybe a little bit better, though. I just don't like being so mega squishy in team fights with Yumi's. Like, I still feel so s strong with Stride. But I also, like, feel pretty beefy, which is weird because it's only... I mean, 375 HP is actually kind of a lot. And then it is boosting your Sterak shield, I guess, too, which is nice. I gotta make sure I look for a good teleport here. Might save it for a drag though if the fight looks good. This gangplank is actually really strong right now. Does he try to run down here? Could be on a ward too. Oh, he's playing it so safe, actually. If you went up a little bit more, I was thinking about doing an E flash, but I also kind of want to save it for a team fight. I think if he does stay on this wave, I can kind of look to just, like, take his tower or dive him. Kind of do both. He's got a barrel in that bush, probably. Nice, he used his mango there, so I can just all in. Ooh, this could be bad. Oh my god, I can't move. Jeez, okay. Their team was ready for that, because they're not contesting drag.
Well, on the bright side, my shutdown went to Morgue, so that's good. That's way better than Ezreal or Senna getting it. Wow, there. Ezreal has a freaking Warden's Mail, dude. Even the ADCs are buying this when they see a Fed Urgot now. I guess he goes into Frozen Heart. Ezreal's really good versus Urgot, actually. They have a good Urgot comp, actually. Like, anti-Urgot. The perma root, Yeah, they got a good, like, root chain, too. Once Morgbind gets maxed, like, max rank, it's a three-second bind, which is insane. I do have Legend Tenacity. Wow. Okay. GG. I was not expecting a surrender there, but GG. I don't know, was that game completely over for them? They honestly had a pretty good comp against us, but we do have pretty insane scaling too. Ooh, 22 LP. Okay, that's actually pretty good. We had 14k damage. Brand Jungle taken off since the buffs, yeah. I've seen Brand Jungle and I've seen Morg. I haven't seen Zyra yet, so we'll see how that goes. They got quite a bit of magic damage. Well, they're pretty split, I guess. When Yurks do this first strike build, they usually... They play more off their E. Like, they usually don't trade with Q as much. I'm just going to ward early, because I don't really know what they're going to do here. It looks like she started red. I feel like Zara Jungle could try like an early cheese gank with E. The thing that's nice about Fleet on Urgot is you can like reposition to proc another shotgun on those early trades. The movement speed is actually pretty nice. Ooh, I maybe could have eaten him when he queued that. I'm going to really try to focus on my movement. Oh, nice. We can just W those. Always just W his ghouls, like, before you target him target him with an ability. Okay, good thing he didn't have any graves there. But yeah, I'm going to try to move, like, side to side to dodge Z. Have to think about my movement a little bit more. Wow, that was like a tie kill, but I guess they got first blood. That was really close. I don't care about the wall. I can still trade autos. Gonna back for Cole anyway here. I think I farmed pretty good. He's on 13. Nice. That's a good first four waves. It's really good. Zyra doesn't take damage while clearing. Oh, because the plants just tank. Did they actually... Oh, I guess they kind of like buffed everyone in the jungle, right? Didn't they make jungle just, like, easier to take on this patch? Like, the camps? Is that why we're seeing, like, Brand and Zyra and all these mages all of a sudden? I know Morg got some other buffs, too. I guess Brand did, too. They are trying to buff Brand mid. I think this wave is too big to freeze. One thing that's really cool about this matchup, always take a Overgrowth, because Overgrowth works against his ghouls. It's kind of a little thing, but like you get Overgrowth pretty stacked in this match. Overgrowth is kind of the default for Urgot anyway. 
but sometimes I'll go unflinching if I really need. If the enemy team comp just has like a ridiculous amount of CC. I saw their jungle was bought, it looked like. Dude, one thing about those AP jungles, though, I feel like they can get counter jungled kind of easily. Especially if they get set behind. If you have, like, an early blunder versus, like, a Graves or, like, I don't know, Kindred, like, most AD junglers. Wow, he tried to go for an invade right there, and he just got the whole team on him. Wow, triple longsword. Tell me you're going lethality without telling me that you're going lethality. It's actually been a long time since I played versus build, this Yurik build. If you get a good E on him, you can usually one shot him like later on in the game. I think it might be good for me to get Lethality versus actually. Because he's going to be so squishy. I think I should rush Yumi's into like maybe Holebreaker. Maybe like Yumi's Cleaver or something. Whoa. Oh, I wish I had a ward, dude. Oh my gosh, I had to like micro sidestep to fear his maiden right there. Yeah, the cool thing about Yurik is you can uh you can eat him like that while you're in the cage if he's really close. Fleet's gonna heal me, I think I'm fine. Wow, nice. She used all of her burst. Urgot's actually really good for Zyra too, because you uh W the plants, they just one shot the plants. Or sorry, your W one shots the plants. Oh yeah, dude, I'm definitely gonna go with Aldi. Serena Dirk's gonna go crazy right now. Get a little bit of armor since he also has Serena Dirk. We do lose out on a cannon wave, and he has kind of a good freeze here too. Maybe I should have ported. We're like halfway to lane now, though. Yeah, dang, that wave's actually pretty good for him. Without a Yurik is your favorite champ slash build in the game. It is really fun. I welcome you. Been a while since I played it, but I did play it a, quite a bit at one point. I remember I played it when it was like, there was a time where it was really broken. Like, your ghoul's first jump would do, like, so much damage. That's when I played it quite a bit. They kind of... I think they nerfed, like, the impact damage or something. That was a while back. It would have been nice to land that key just to get his first strike off. I'm liking the fleet in this lane, though, man. I want to try to get the plate here if I can. His maiden should still be down. It's pretty long cooldown, level 1. I want to proc my fleet on the tower here. Ooh, that's kind of greedy, though. I think I got him. Serrated Dirk power spike. Serrated Dirk is so strong on Urgot, dude. This is like the best. It actually is the best early component. This thing is nasty. Ooh, Rakan. He probably has somebody else with him then. Can proc my fleet kind of soon. And I was going to proc fleet again right there. 
needed like five more mana for my E. If I proc fleet and then E out, we're we're good there. All right, fair play though. We're kind of rammed as well. If it was just one of them, I would have been fine. Do we TP? Probably not. I think this wave will be good. Whoa, wait a minute. I didn't buy my longsword. This wave is kind of good, because he's going to get there first, right? So he's going to clear it out a little bit. Oh, dude, Kebab, thank you for the 30 months, man. 30 month resub. Appreciate it, dude. Hey, welcome in, Brito. I don't know. His maiden is going to go kind of crazy here. I'll take that. I probably should have gave that to Syndra, but she gets an assist. Oh, dude, this is so good. I don't know if he has teleport. He probably does. But he's still going to miss a decent chunk here. I wonder if Zyra plans count towards your overgrowth. I think they do as well. They got the Zyra plants and the Yark minions. Dude, I'm already at 106 overgrowth stacks. That's actually insane for 11 minutes. That's going to be nice because it actually really helps out your Sterak shield. The more uh, overgrowth stacks you get. Wow, Rakana's roaming again. I guess he's kind of ditching the Draven. He's going to go mid. Why doesn't Maiden block Urga ulti, but Daisy does? I don't think Daisy does block it, does it? I always thought your ulti went through Daisy as well. Shut down. Hey, what's going on, Expelled? I've actually been thinking about playing some Nar, but we'll see. Right now, I kind of want to stick with Urgot and Kaysanti. I think Kaysanti's going to take up my practice time of other champs. Rampage. Nice, we're getting so many plates. I was kind of thinking of backing, but I think we need to stay in lane until the plates drop. Because he's uh, got the Shelly thingy. If I back, we give him a ton of plates. Dude, what is going on on the map? Holy moly. My team was thinking about dodging because we had a Zig support. And he's on a Rampage now. Nice, give me those Evergrowth stacks. Maiden's kind of scary, though. I don't know, I kill it pretty fast. Maybe it's not that scary. Wow. We kill his wife, and then we kill him. That's brutal, man. And we get the plate right before it drops. This is such a good lane phase, dude. I don't like to say the game's over, but this is feeling pretty good. I honestly, I don't even need hole breaker. I win side lane no matter what. So in that case, we'll build for team fights. Yeah, kind of a crazy land. Kind of surprised at how well this went. And Mad Eyes, thank you for the follow, dude.
this might sound kind of bad, but this is one of the games where I almost wish my team was doing a little bit worse. Because, like, I could be a monster late game, you know? But my team is doing so good that they might just surrender. But I still feel really good about the lane, at least. That's the hardest part of Urgot, getting through the lane fizz. Ooh, I got the buffer there. Probably gonna die for this, though. Yeah, that's not worth it. At least I'm a tiny shutdown, but this guy's taking our base. Might need a Cinder TP. That's gonna be a one shot. It's Lethality Yarrick. He's got no defense. Wow, Baron's not up for another four minutes still. I was gonna say we could rush that, but it's only 16. Guess we'll just go bottom look for a good teleport. Hey, thanks for the follows, guys. Oh, hey, good morning, boot up. I actually, I think I forgot to post in Discord. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I'm pretty sure I forgot today. Let's try to look for a good teleport here, maybe. If I have my Yumi's active, I think I could actually deal with this LB. I feel like sometimes it's maybe not worth it to use Yumi's to get back to land. Like, sometimes it is, but... Ooh, nice, I got out of that. I just have to bait for my team here. Is that the real one? Nope, it's the clown. <laughs> You, ac you actually can pull the clone for a fear, but if the real one dies, then the clone despawns. That's what happened right there. One time I got a huge fear off a Wukong clone with my ulti. The Wukong clone is sketchy, though, because it can, like... It can despawn while you're mid pull, and it has a way shorter timer than the LB one does. Yeah, Shaco clone will do it too. As far as I know, they all work for getting the fear. Oh, the Draven E. Okay, my bad. I guess I got the whole team here. I was playing a little bit careless there, I guess, but I guess they don't have anywhere they don't have anywhere else to be pretty much. Wow. Fed Syndra, dude. She does have a shadow flame to be fair. I think Syndra in my opinion, she's the best mid laner right now in the game. Should definitely get a Stare X now. Almost 200 overgrowth stacks. Yeah, Orianna's really good right now, too. Like, you could probably make an argument for Ori being the best as well. But personally, I'd rather have a Syndra. Just by a little bit. Control mages in general are just so good mid right now, though. I think that's the big problem with stuff like Urgot mid and like 80, 80 top laners mid. Like, they work pretty well in lane. But I feel like it does really hurt your team comp, like mid and late game. My team is giving them 
Got kind of a lot of shutdowns. Hey, it's going good, Edge. How are you, man? So far, so good. We had a really nice lane versus uh, Yurik here. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Probably going to get like five manned again. Once my team has a bit more pressure, we'll go more aggressive. Oh, Cinder just popped somebody. I love that snowman zigs, man. Trying to go for the prediction. I guess we can maybe just go for the end here. Just overwhelm them with minions. There's the prediction. Can't burst her, though. Maybe I teleport back in? We're getting kind of chunked here. We can't really overwhelm them with minions until we got supers, I guess. These normal minions don't really do much. They're trying their best, but... Oh my gosh, he has a grudge, I guess. Is that the real one? Oh my gosh, it was. Dude, I actually thought that one was the clown. Okay, I'm going to port back in. Don't worry, team. The Urgot has arrived. Oh my gosh, the minions have arrived too. They're just taking out the tower. Good game, dude. I forget what my starting LP is, but I, I think we're pretty close to D2 if I remember right. Zig support for the win, dude. Yeah, one more game to get D2 back. We actually got 22 instead of 20 this time. I've been like stuck on plus 20 LP for some reason. It's nice to see something different. Wow, that was a good team, dude. We all had, like, around 20k. 3.2k heals on the fleet. I really like the fleet versus Yarrick, man. Like, seriously, I think that makes that matchup so much easier. Last time I took PTA and I realized you, like, can't really proc PTA that much. They, they really like to just poke with their E now. You definitely saw me sneak in here. Oh, that's an early Counter-Strike. Yeah, I played versus this guy yesterday. His Counter-Strikes were pretty good. He definitely tries to, like, sidestep my E in his Counter-Strike, which is what you should do as Jax. 
Like, if you guys ever play Jax vs. Urgot, sidestepping the Urgot E is the most important thing. And you, you know when Urgot's going to cast a Z. Because I try to cast it on his counter strike. I'll just take a call back here. It's not bad. Oh, nice. That cannon like barely walked forward into tower, thankfully. Yeah, if I remember right, this guy was pretty safe in lane. He also does grasp instead of a uh, lethal tempo. I should have actually probably tried to cheese him level one in this bush since he's not going lethal. Um, if they do go lethal, though, you, you usually don't want to level 1 them. Nice, this wave is really good. Oh my god, the creep block, dude. I can't move. They want to be in Urgot lane without a little bit of creep block. I was kind of holding E there because I thought he, I thought he would just jump away. Oh dang, that would have been nice to cancel. He's gonna have to port here though. This Jax is farming pretty good so far. I think I'm missing a little bit too much. Whoa, shotgun! Gotta be careful of that. He's got quite a bit of a better build than me right now. Hey, welcome in, Edge. Wait, did you play Shovel Knight, Death Monkey? I feel like that game is super old school. I never even heard of it until yesterday. Definitely got a ward right now. We probably could have tried for something if she just ran through the ward there. Hey, B Tates. He's running Demolish, that's right, because he's doing that grass build. His Counter-Strike is so good versus, uh, obviously, me, but also the Briar, too. Jax is kind of an insane pick here.
Oh my god, my shotgun spawned. Of course. Man, it's so bad to recall here, but I feel like I should. Can maybe outplay this. Ah, uh, I die now. Unless he just lets me recall here. Okay, nice. He's scared of Ori. Let's try to fix our wave. Oh, nice. I did not think she would get that. I was going to just ask for help pushing the wave. Oh my god, that timing. Dude, we just lucked out with that timing. Oh my goodness. Alright, works for me. Great room by the Ori, though. That was really nice. Alright, 2k gold in the pocket. It's a really nice buy for us. Why is there so many Ori's lately? I think because of Worlds. She's been a really... Syndra and Ori are like the two most dominant pick in Worlds right now. I think a few patches ago they buffed Ori. She was like already pretty good too. Control mages are just OP right now. They're, they're so good for your team comp like late game too. Like mid late game when you have a control mage versus like I don't know like some bruiser or something you can really feel the difference I need to get faster at doing that ward it's nice with the indicators though you stand on that little bush that little like poison ivy thing Oh, that's a mess. We're winning these fights through kiting, by the way. If I wasn't kiting, we'd be dying. In these melee matchups with Ergot, it's actually really important. Man, she took my cannon. She got the kill and the cannon. I'm kind of risking this. If I get ganked, I'd die right now. But double plate is too tempting. I think I'll just get a tabby here on this back. Honestly, I like to get Cleaver first, like before I finish boots, if I can in this match. Because Cleaver feels so good versus Jax. But sometimes it's just the way your gold works out. Hey, welcome in, Bash. Have I considered maining Jax? Uh, not maining him. I've considered adding him to my champ pool, though. I've been playing him a little bit, but every time I've picked him, I've been counterpicked. The last time I played him, I had to play into a Garen. And it was the most struggle lane ever, dude. I don't mind playing counter picks as much when I'm on Urgot, but when I'm trying to like learn a champion, I hate playing a counter pick. It's nice when you're learning a champion if you can like pick it into good matchups. Jax is good right now, but I feel like in the games where he's good, I feel like Urgot's also good a lot of the time. Maybe I could try, try Jax into some tank matchups, though. I might do that. Just go Divine Sundeer Rush. Oh, he did a really fast counter strike. I tried to E. An enemy has been slain. 
Hey, Gear Mope. What's up, dude? What's up, Rick? Let's be a little bit careful. I do kind of want to get that plate, but I also feel like I might get ganked right now. Any fruits? Wow, somebody took the fruit then. That's fine. I want this guy to push right now. An ally has been slain. Maybe he greets for cannon. We can zone him off XP. He might have got XP for that. I'm not sure. It's hard to force much on this guy. He doesn't really jump into me too much. Which usually I win this matchup if they like if they jump into me too much, to be honest. But this guy just tries to jump away. Eh, it's not really a good reset timing. There we go. I've had enough of him jumping away. Well, yeah, this guy just doesn't jump into me ever, though. I played versus him yesterday, too. He's really scared to face Ergot. It's funny, I did really good versus him in lane. But my team got rolled. And then he was spamming top gap at the end of the game. Like sarcastically, I guess, to try to annoy me. Ah, oh, man, I want to go for this, but it's so risky. I just want to go for this to cash in my call, though. Finally a game without the one CS on call, man. All right, now we're strong. Now we're talking. Wow, their Viego's level eight right now. Oh, that Seraphine almost saved. Double shutdowns to Akali is scary though. Punch and blitz. Oh my god, nice. The punch of death. Ah, oh, she has flash. After getting so many kills, she still has flash. I can maybe get a little bit of damage here. It's kind of greedy to stick around, though. Probably just a Kali TPing back to land. Oh, it is Jax. Nice. And we get tower. That's huge. I can already buy my stair axe. Seventeen minute cleaver stair axe and tier two boots. That's kind of crazy, man. Oh, that Briar landed that nice. 
Pretty much always a kill on ADC if you land Briar ulti. <laughs> you guys want me to put the top cap in chat? Alright, I'll do it this game. Gotta wait till we win, though. I wonder if Jax even remembers. I wonder if he knows I'm the same Urgot. We can maybe kill the Jax, too. It's gonna be hard to stake to him, though, without my grinder. <laughs> Don't fold to the dark side. Top gap isn't too toxic. Yeah, I don't know. I probably won't do it, though. I don't really like that stuff. I don't mind, like, hyping up my team, but I don't like all chatting. Like, if somebody on my team has, like, a mid-gap or something, you know, I don't mind it in team chat, if that makes sense. I want to grab this red buff real quick. Oh, the red buff. That's right. I still remember one of my stupidest deaths on League was when I bought a Bramble, and I forgot about the reflection damage. And I was, like, playing near the guy's tower, and then I just died because of the tower. Should be a kill. Yeah, once you get their tier 2 down, you can, like... If they don't have vision around here, you can really go for these flank plays with their gut. It's a really good way to get kills. Oh, I didn't even mean to click on that. Wait, back me up, Blitz. Oh, nice. He was feeling that, Paul. Wow, we actually end the game. Nice, dude. That was a good land. Oh, we got the dancing Shelly, too. Could be a little pick, though. Chasing into that bush is sketchy. Oh, nice hook, dude. Flash for the shotgun. This fight looks kind of dicey, though. Oh my gosh, we can start with a call, dude. I need a recall. If we get a call start, that's huge. It's been so long since I got a start with call. 
I'll just use my port back. We shouldn't be porting in this land. Like, he shouldn't chunk me out, really. Although, he does have lethal tempo. That does make it a little bit more spicy early game. But unless I get ganked, I don't see myself dying here. I hate say I don't like saying stuff like that because I feel like it it's the caster's curse, you know? Now that I said that, I probably will die. Dang, he doesn't walk up for that one. He's been walking up for him. Still get a nice little PTA proc, though. Is that Zweig? I have no idea. We're playing in Diamond, though. I don't know what his other accounts are. What makes you wonder if it's leg? Just out of curiosity. Is it like the lethal tempo or something? Lethal tempo has kind of became a thing now on Nasus. Oh, dude, if I had my E up there. The nice thing is we don't have to do an early back for the uh, call. I can just chill and land. Why do people take lethal tempo on him? Um, it just gives him a ton of late game power and a little bit of early game power too. Like lethal tempo is just like Kind of insane rune. But he also gets a lot of lifesteal from his passive. So like the more autos, it kind of synergizes with your lifesteal. Oh my gosh, I couldn't click on the cannon. Ah, oh, I don't want my flash because the early game, that's right. That's the downside of that fight. This will be a trade kill, though. That's worth. Well, hey, what did I say, guys? We did kind of cast her curse it. There's the Kha'Zix gank. That's the only way I die. That's not bad, though. I think wave is okay. Actually, wave is bad. Never mind. Our wave's gonna slowly push here. But trade kill and we burn his ghost. That's good. I don't think Kha'Zix flashed. Oh, yeah, true. He gets more range on the Q when the lethal tempo stacks up. And then also his ulti gives him more auto attack range. And Q range. So yeah, you actually get a ton of auto range. Sheen Nasus is scary though, not gonna lie. But I guess his ghost is down, so he can't really run me down. And his lifesteal is already good. I remember they buffed that up a few patches ago. Oh, 
I was trying to bait out his ulti. The control three kind of looks like an Urgot ulti, like charging it up. We do push him out of lane now. That's good. Thinking after this wave, we'll probably back here. Tried that before, it never works. It, yeah, it, it rarely works for sure. I've definitely gotten a Fiora to use her parry like that, though. And I think, like, one time I got a flash. The buy I just did is a lot better than just like buying a Kindle right now. Because Kindle's like really defensive. But we don't really need the defense. This extra longsword could really make the difference between a kill or not. Especially at 9. Kind of hard to kill this dog up pre 9 though. Oh my gosh, that auto range. Oh, he's dead. He shouldn't have queued me there. Nice. There's our solo kill. Pretty big blunder by him, but I'll take it. One thing I do really like about them running lethal tempo, they're always way more aggressive, I've noticed. I want to push in my wave, dude. My wave's so bad. Yeah, that was really, really greedy. I'm kind of surprised he did that. Do I stay for Cleaver? I could stay for Cleaver and then TP back. Oh, I wish I got that kill for Cleaver. I wish I could have helped him sooner, but I, I had to fix my wave there. This guy shouldn't be able to run me down, right? No ulti, no ghost. Now the real fun begins. I'm going to TP back on the minion wave and just pressure here. Actually, wait. I'm going to try a little flank. He might not see this right now. You can see the teleport even if it's like in the fog, but... If they don't unlock their cam, they can't really see. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. That cleaver spike is such a big spike, dude. I mean, plus Master Yi, but I can really feel the damage increase. Yeah, poor Doggo. You kind of got to camp this guy, though. If you don't shut down Nasus, he just turns into a raid boss. That's why a lot of people don't play that champion, because, like, you go into the game knowing you're probably going to get camped. Same with the uh, Kale, too. I remember a few months ago, or probably like a year ago, I tried to put some time into Kale, and it, it was so annoying, dude. I was getting camped every game. I'm going to keep my W on because he has his Wither going. Doesn't affect my W rate of fire. Oh, 
Oh, dang. I was going to keep him here for a grinder snipe. I know. Once you get Cleaver on Urgot, dude, like, you feel like a different champion. I mean, I guess it also kind of lines up with your level 9 spike, too. So it's like a double power spike. I feel like Cleaver on Urgot, though, is like... It's like one step below Irelia with Bork. Like, that's how strong of a spike it is. Like, one slight step below that, I feel like. I guess I'll wait for Phage. It's kind of nice here. Actually, you know what I'm going to try this game? We're going to do a Heart Steel game. I don't know if the game's going to go super late, but I feel like going Heart Steel and then buying some armor. Because they're like full AD, so I could just get super tanky. We'll do a tanky Urgot game. Our team's doing pretty good, so we'll see how it goes. I've been really wanting to play some Heart Steel, though. Should be able to win this. Oh. Wow, thank goodness I queued before that R. I probably would have missed. Getting that slowdown helped a lot, though. I think I was actually going to miss that E. Like, even if he didn't flash. Yeah, man, that's closer than it should be for, like, his build right now. But Wardens is really good versus me, I suppose. Also, Lethal Tempo stacked up is, like... I actually forget at this point in the game. I think it's about, like, 1.5k gold worth of stats. It's a ridiculous amount of free stats. I'm going to drop that ward in case we want to do like a teleport play. I was thinking about selling coal for crystalline, but I think I'd rather have my coal to be honest. It's kind of nice. Especially in the side lane. Oh yeah, they did get infernal. Looks like an ocean soul again. Ocean soul with heart steel would be insane, dude. Because I'll have such a big HP pool. Your team has destroyed a Hundred and eighty movement speed. I might as well be stunned. I know he's baiting for a gank, but I'm Kind of down to 1v2. Oh, it's a 1v3, though. Oh, crap. We don't have teleport. It's 1v4, man. I'm going to just try to get to my tower. Holy moly. The squad has arrived. They wanted my shutdown, I guess. They haven't really been playing topside, so that kind of caught me off guard. We could sell both of these and get heart steel. I might do that. Just start stacking. Depending on how this fight goes, we can maybe port back in. This is looking messy, dude. Oh my gosh, everybody's missing everything. Good thing we got a Yee to right click, though. All right, let's go deal with Jinx. She's actually really farmed up right now. I can't really kill her since I don't have flash, but I can get her off the tower at least. They wanted the crab legs, holland days. That actually sounds kind of good. Double kill. 
Oh, she's running all the way back. Oh my gosh, I canceled my auto on the cannon. How does this always happen, man? I was trying to look at the map for like a TP. Yeah, homemade hollandaise is really good. I haven't had it in a while, but I used to really like eggs benedict with like hollandaise sauce. I used to make that sometimes for breakfast. Oh, that's such a good angle. Poor Rill just trying to get some vision down. Hey, how's it going, Debbie? They do have a ward on this camp, so let's save our E. Oh my gosh. Whatever, I got the many ones. That's where the real gold is. Be nice to get level 13 before I fight this guy. Oh, okay. I have too much HP. That's actually pretty nice versus him. We got 3.3k HP pool right now, so he just can't burst me. And the nice thing is he kind of bursts himself going in that all out. As long as I land the grinder, we're chilling. I'm going to TP on this. Oh, they're scared. Ooh, flash. Jinx flash down for next fight will be really good because I'll have mine. That should be a free kill. I want to get Drag, dude. Ocean Soul would be huge. I guess we do want to go with Titanic Hydra in this build at some point. Maybe third item, to be honest. I do want to get some armor at some point, too, though. I guess in that case, we could delay our Stair X. I'm thinking Titanic into Stone Plate into Stair X. That sounds good. You can kind of like change the order of how you build items with the Heartsteel build, but you can't really change the items. Because the thing is, Titanic, Titanic, Stoneplate, and Sterex, they all scale with HP. So if you're building Heartsteel, you just really want to build these items. Dang, team is popping off. I'm going to just keep pushing here. Oh, that's GG. Well, we don't get to test out Heartsteel, but it's a good lane versus Nasus. Good match.